in Mombasa. That's the coast that we were trying to get to. But we realized, let's check out Hala Park. Right next, they used to dig for cement. They've been able to restore this land so well. They have wild animals roaming. And you pretty much can just come out here and get a chance to explore. But they've restored it really well. Oh my God, can I get out? Look at it. Oh my God. Here's another one. Look how big this tortoise is. Like... You can see his teeth. Look how big it is. How old do you think it is? This is the amazing part about being in this park because you see the tortoise on the tree, you see the monkeys. You just can explore this whole place with just everything just roaming. We haven't even made it inside the entrance. That's the crazy part. Hello. Hello. I don't want you touching me. Oh, it's gonna leave us. Don't go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the big old giraffes. This is what they eat. The little pellets for feeding these are like 50 shillings each which is like 50 cents yeah but it's exciting here hold on mark i mean mommy you gonna feed the giraffe no you can't eat it it's to feed the giraffe look, look at this one this one is waiting come on mommy oh it's funny when you, it touches your hand mommy go there no, uh, uh, I know it's crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> but they're very gentle creatures. One Look at this guy here. Trying to come and get him some. Yeah. <laughs> she did it. We do it again. Hello Park. I'm really excited to see a hippo. Like, it's a, I really love the aspect that you kind of just walk and you see a wild animal. Just yeah, you walking, and there's signs everywhere telling you cautious. These are wild animals, and to yeah. be careful and be very, you know, pretty yeah. much respectful of these creatures and, and their space. So, so, yeah, there's a river right here. There's a mamba, which is a crocodile. Yes. That's how you say crocodile in Swahili, a mamba. Be careful. Don't sit on the tortoise. Like they're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, they are so yeah we're gonna this is actually a pretty cool thing to actually see because um you know a lot of times you know there's more development come with with people we ended up destroying a lot of the habitat mm -hmm. and i believe it i believe with this organization what they're trying to do is kind of okay. trying to restore it upkeep it, upkeep it mm -hmm. so these guys have a place to live too mm -hmm. you know and, 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 and keep them safe so yeah so it's gonna be cool we're gonna walk around here and get the chance to explore this area so far we were just coming in and it's very beautiful around here it's amazing yeah and even like the next beautiful. even the next stage you're supposed to go to is there's a hut right here mm -hmm. and you get to see you can kind of show in the background it's a hut right there and they're doing like i guess a video like i guess explaining yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, a nice little video. So there's actually a whole bunch of people in here now. We've been sitting up out here doing this for right now. So we need to go ahead and make our way up in there so we can see what's going on. Yeah, I think it'd be better for us to just stand in the back. Mm -hmm. we don't disturb the people that's in there. Mm -hmm. 
Say this though. Whenever we were coming in at that video, the, the, the at the hut where they were doing the video, mm -hmm. it kind of explains the history of here. Just in short, this used to be, uh, we know how we said the cement, it used to be a quarry. Quarry is pretty much, this is the area that they were digging yeah. the cement. And whenever they finished digging the cement, Dr. Hala, which is the park is named after him, Hala Park. Dr. Hala was like, he wanted now part of the restoration mm. and he ended up doing research about these animals and i think he's the one who kind of brought them here yeah. and kind of had the restoration of this area mm. so it's mm. not just because most times whenever they're digging they when they're know, done they just leave it as is and it looks horrible yeah so it was really really <laughs> you know nice of him to actually step up and come and you know kind of bring it back to life for these guys yeah and yeah. the thing is so the restoration started in 1971 but it's amazing you've seen this. I'm yes. seeing that boat over there and I'm like, let's get in the boat. Oh, no, never mind. You can't. There's a crocodile right there uh, by the boat. <laughs> you gotta get eaten. Yeah. But I'm seeing the boat and I'm like, let's go. No. Okay, now let's see. Don't get eaten. You know how they play the game, don't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> don't fall off the boat. Yeah. Look at these guys over there sunbathing. But you'd have never expected that one right in front. Like, blends in yeah. well. He's just sitting up over there, blending in and watching. It shows you, like, you acting funny and you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Yeah. You get eaten. And yeah. they, that's what they wait for. They're no. like, who's the stupid one today? Look at this guy. We didn't set up and walked up on him. And he just Touch sitting right. Oh no, I mean, I would, but I'm not about to. Oh, they say don't provoke. Yeah, I'm not about to. Um, this is Look at the teeth. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yep, there we go. Look at Look at the eyes. Look at these. Coasting in that water. I know. But when it's time to eat, they can go so fast. I know they can. It's crazy how the crocodile and the hippo. Just coexist so well together, you know? Yeah. They're bit, both very big. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy how even though how big the hippo how big the hippo is, whenever it's in the water, all you see is the head and you forget how big it really is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I'm not gonna lie. But hippos is like one of the most dangerous animals you gotta look out for. I feel like they say that about every animal. No, sometimes. no, a lot of people die from hippos. I really can't get over that boat. It makes me think of a movie, you know? Like, like you're trying to get away, and this is the only boat you can get on. Oh, yeah. To get away, to cross over to the other island, and you're survived by crocodiles. Oh, survive. The boat is leaking. Oh, my God. There's a little leak in it. Oh, my God. Look, you don't have a paddle. There's a crocodile over there coming. You see it over there? You don't have a paddle, you need to move the arms around you. What do you do? You, would you, no, 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 come here. What would you do? You're over there hiding, but you need to get to the other side of the land. Would you just risk it and try to swim to get to the other land? Or what would you do? You know what I mean? Hmm. It's just I mean, nerve wracking, but it's exciting to think about a scenario. Like, yeah. But if, if, it, if it was over here, I mean, it's not that deep, you know? I just what if you don't like, know? If you don't know, you don't know. And because I've been enjoying doing like early morning walks, because where we're staying at, they could be wild animals. And the scenario is always like, how would you survive in this situation? And that's what's putting me in here. I don't know why that's so exciting to me. It's exciting because you're always like, what would I do? It's nice to know you have a survival, in your survival instincts, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. So. Maybe you need to do the early morning walks. It really does come alive. I mean, no, that I, I side know, that no, should become I so dormant. Know, I already know. Because while you sleep, I'm up outside. And I hear the lions and the hyenas and all the animals come to life right there in the, in the park. I know. But I'm saying when you're you walking. Just, I know. But, you know, I, 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 I like to be with a little gate. <laughs> it was on the compound. He likes to keep his survival instincts dormant. No, I no, want to no, no, bring no. it up. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 Trust me, I'm good. I don't need to go out there playing with them. Okay, I just have to do something. 
Yep, those are not least, those are a little fish in there. You see the little black ones too? It's hard, it's to, hard see. to see. Dude. Yeah. We oh, get, we lost everybody. We're getting flashbacks because look where we are. We're in the woods and there's nobody around. Oh, there they go. You see somebody? Yeah, they are, they're, they're good. We're about to start panicking because I mean, we've had other videos. I'm going to have yeah. to put like a little card on the video. We've done <laughs> multiple videos. We go to the woods and we get lost and get we did not lost. see anybody. One of them parks that we went to. It was crazy because it was like a very small park. Mm -hmm. But like when they have like this, oh wow, look at all the water over there. You know what? Whenever you're walking, pay attention to your surroundings so you don't get lost. Because I'm serious, you legit can get lost in some of these little trails and all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah, so we, we, for a second we thought we were like, oh my God. Like, where's everybody at? We, we started panicking again because mm -hmm. we've had too many experiences in the woods. That ain't so good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure though, like, but then again, I, I, I always say that I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure somebody come looking for you if they know that you're missing. But I'm pretty sure maybe somebody do ride around here in a little truck. Has you seen your little truck? Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen one. The only around. people who will know we're missing is my parents. <laughs> yeah. So They're if you're by ones. yourself, when you get lost up in this thing, you may be spending the night with the crocodiles. Right? <laughs> and you might get hungry. It's going to be a doggy. Because whenever we got lost in that park that day, like, we was the last car out there. Like, we was literally lost. And we, we didn't like, know what We was so was. lost. Well, we walked in circles about three times. He did. Two to three times. That's how you know you lost. I looked down. I seen that tire. I'm like, damn. I can't tell her. We just seen this tire again, but I went on ahead. Martha, we walking in circles. You remember that tire? She looked at that tire. She was like, boy, you got us going in circles. Let me make, let me tell you something. You know how people get in a scary situation and they work together? Walk, walk this way too. Okay, and they work yeah, together? So we legitimately were arguing. <laughs> cause he was like, go this way. I was like, go this way. So it was extra stress cause we arguing too. <laughs> That was bad. Because if I said the other way, he's like, if we go wrong, it's 100% on you. That was bad. And then... We need to communicate better in scary situations. Yeah. If you guys actually... I mean, we communicate just fine. I think we got out, yeah. I mean, you know. But even if you, even if you go back and look at that video, we, we even got like stopped by the police and everything. That was a whole new situation. Yeah. You know. Because I think he was thinking it was funny business going on. And we were like, no, we no, were trapped. We were literally lost in that place. <laughs> Like I knew the creek and all, but I didn't want us to have to go walk all the way around that freeway just to come back in. And even still, the gate would have been locked and it just looked like too much. Mm. I wonder what's in here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, probably little fish and turtles and all different types of stuff probably come down here and drink water to be honest. Yeah, I was like, I didn't know it was blue. Look, I'm chilling. Boy, I got some blue balls for real. <laughs> Damn, who teasing you, my guy? Video. Yeah. They stayed and I spoke to her. So this is the whole little about process it. that they didn't went to they, they, they start this thing here. The okay. Mm -hmm. Just little huts like that have so much information about everything that goes on. Yeah. Oh wow. And this is the water lily? They put a fertilizer on the water. It's oh, like a greenhouse. Oh. <laughs> you should go to her hand on the other side. No, my hand. <laughs> We'll see you guys. So it's the butterfly museum. We, we was actually in for about five minutes already and we was like we're not gonna record much in here because you know it's only the, the uh, it's only a display of butterflies. I was special but you didn't even realize the door is right here. <laughs> <laughs> this 
Look at it's that. Eating. It's yeah. like a, it's like a Look at mosquito. That. Wow, I didn't even know they eat they like eat that. Like that. I didn't, even, I didn't even know they eat like that. That's amazing. It is. You really have to look to like find these guys because everything just blend in so well. I saw a caterpillar by the house a long time ago when I was young and I'm like, I'm going to protect it and let it get to a, a butterfly. So I found it at this stage and we got it to this stage and some other little bugs came and ate it so it never even made it here i felt so bad <laughs> it's a buffalo i think that's a gazelle when it bent down like that it'd be looking like a rock because that head just be hiding so well this is a yellow crocodile and i think yellow i've never seen a yellow crocodile it looks like it's all by itself Hopefully it has some friends in here. Appar apparently, these um, crocodiles, their their poop, their fecal matter, is what actually enriches the water and gives food to the birds and the fish. That's amazing. And just helps the growth of the environment. I'm just gonna pass him up. That was a red-legged centipede. We found the other ones, but they're in a different an enclosure all by themselves. Maybe the other one is too big and he will be mean to the others. So, it's two here. Maybe the other one was inside the water. Oh, look how he got his mouth open. Oh my God, even his tongue is yellow. I mean, inside the mouth is yellow. The crazy thing is, the hippos are related to the whales. And, apparently this is, in my head, I thought hippos could swim, but they said hippos cannot swim or even float. They just stand up. That's how big they are. Well, over there was the reptile park and some of them were venomous and some of them were non-venomous. Like the rock, rock python, the African rock python. Oh, look at that one. Is fruit just falling? Yeah. You see it where it is on the ground? Yeah. Those are not venomous, but it's crazy. I don't know what I would do when these snakes bite me. But these little monkeys coming to these trees, just things falling. Watch your head. <laughs> I think we had just arrived early because now is when you start seeing a whole bunch of to uh, just everybody coming in and visiting. I think we, when we came, we just came in early. But now, just trying to find where my parents went. Part of me makes me wonder, is there another section where they have the hippos? Where you can actually see the hippos outside the water? Or I guess maybe that was the only section. It may, ha it may have not happened today, but maybe next time. Or maybe by the house. They may have a hippo that's actually walking around. Cause they did say they have hippos over there walking around. So at least I got to see a lot of things and it was really nice out here. Aston around, we found out that Dr. Ha okay, this whole area is actually owned by the Bamburi Cement. And Dr. Halle was an employee of the Bamburi cement. He was, I guess, the one in charge of the restoration of this. So the cement place is the one that's funding all of this. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah. At least they didn't just come here and make a big old hole and just left it as is. Yeah. Know? Like, hey man, let's, you know, kind of put it back to kind of how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Know? Oh, this movie. So, pretty cool. Yeah. But um, we really couldn't see the hippo too well because he didn't want to come out the water. I know. But it's all good. At least we was able to still come and see, you know, the animals we did see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to hurry up and rush on back because so, I know these guys been probably waiting for us for a while. She Mom she B. Is. Sweet B. 
this movie all the way there by the tree. He noticed us. <laughs> movie. You do. Sasa. <laughs> you started walking. Huh? All right, guys. We had a fantastic time here at um. Palapa. Yeah. So it's a little noisy because. They have a. They had another bus came in of kids. A whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of them. Yeah. So I know if I was in school, this would be a pretty cool spot to come yeah. to. A right? field trip? Who didn't yeah. love field know, trips field in trip elementary? Mm -hmm. If anything, if anything, it was a fantastic time. I feel like we see that about everywhere, but we have a great time everywhere. Yeah, we, go. we do, and that's the good thing. I mean, we have our challenges in between, trust me. But you know, for the most part, we, we always try to. Yeah. You, know. you funny. You say we have our challenges. Oh, we do, like everybody else. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of. Yeah. Right on. But anyways, all in all, the park was nice. It was just something different. But